Have you ever wondered why you're squinting in low light or constantly battling dry eyes? This is the case you might be missing the key nutrient that keeps your vision and so much more sharp. Stick around to uncover the telltale signs of vitamin A deficiency and why it's more common than you think. In this video, we're going to cover symptoms and causes of vitamin A deficiency, diagnosis and tests, management and treatment, prevention, including eight foods that are rich sources of vitamin A, and finally, outlook and prognosis. But first of all, what is vitamin A deficiency? Well, vitamin A deficiency is when your body lacks the amount of vitamin A that it needs to function properly. Now, vitamin A deficiency can cause vision loss and blindness. It can also lead to complications with your skin, heart, lungs, tissues, and even your immune system. So who does vitamin A deficiency actually affect? Well, it's actually quite rare in the UK and the United States, but it can affect people who don't get enough vitamin A in their diets. It also affects people with certain liver disorders and conditions that affect how their bodies can absorb vitamins. However, in some countries around the world, especially in sub-Saharan Africa and South Asia, many people don't get enough vitamin A in their diets. Infants, children, and people who are pregnant or breastfeeding are most at risk. And in fact, vitamin A deficiency is the leading cause of blindness in children around the world. Every year, unfortunately, up to half a million children worldwide become blind because of vitamin A deficiency. So we'll move on now and just discuss briefly what vitamin A is. Well, vitamin A actually does a lot more than you might think. It's essential for healthy vision, metabolism, which is the process of converting food into energy, as well as cell development, and it also plays a major role in keeping your immune and reproductive systems in good shape. Now, since your body can't make vitamin A on its own, you have to get it from the foods that you eat. And we'll discuss some of these important foods at the end of this video. But when it comes to your eyes, vitamin A is especially important. Your retinas, which are the light-sensitive layers at the back of your eyes that turn light into signals for your brain, need certain pigments to function properly. Without enough vitamin A, you might develop night blindness, meaning it becomes difficult to see in low-light conditions. Vitamin A also helps your eyes produce the moisture that keeps your corneas, which are the clear protective layers at the front of your eyes, lubricated. Now, if the corneas get too dry, they can become damaged, which can sometimes lead to blindness. Beyond your eyes, vitamin A also supports healthy skin, and it helps to maintain the linings of your lungs, your intestines, and the urinary tract. Plus, it strengthens your immune system, helping protect you from infections. So, there are actually two different forms of vitamin A, and we'll discuss these briefly now. So, preformed vitamin A, or retinol, is found naturally in animal products, including beef, poultry, fish, liver, and eggs. Some cereals and dairy products are also fortified or strengthened with vitamin A as well. Now, the second form of vitamin A is provitamin A carotenoids. Now, carotenoids are from plant sources and they are the pigments in vegetables and fruits that give them their yellow, orange, and red colors. So things like carrots and red bell peppers are really high in carotenoids. After you eat these fruits and vegetables, your body slowly converts the carotenoids into vitamin A. The most common type of carotenoid, which you might have heard of, is called beta carotene. Now, if you are deficient in vitamin A, there can be several complications, and we'll discuss some of these now. So the first of these are skin issues. So a lack of vitamin A can cause dry, scaly, or itchy skin. Vitamin A also plays a really important role in your reproductive system, and deficiency can lead to trouble conceiving as well as infertility. Vitamin A deficiency can also cause delayed growth, and development in children as well as problems with the immune system which can lead to infections in places like your chest and your throat and as i've already mentioned vitamin a is a key factor in many functions in your eyes so deficiency can result in vision loss and blindness if severe and prolonged so now we've discussed some of the potential complications well what are the signs and symptoms of a vitamin a deficiency well one of the early signs of vitamin a deficiency is night blindness so if you've got night blindness you typically have trouble seeing well in the dark but you can see normally if enough light is present typically now as the vitamin a deficiency worsens the whites of your eyes and your corneas can become dry and it, you might not be able to produce tears. Foamy spots called bitto spots may appear in the whites of your eyes, and open sores on your corneas, which are called corneal ulcers, might appear. 
or drying or clouding of your corneas, which is known as keratomalacia, which can lead to blindness, can also happen. Now, in terms of what causes vitamin A deficiency, well, as I've already mentioned, vitamin A deficiency occurs when you don't get enough vitamin A in your diet. So whilst it's rare in the United States, vitamin A deficiency happens quite frequently in many developing countries around the world. People in impoverished nations often don't get enough food with vitamin A. Vitamin A deficiency also occurs because of liver disorders. So your liver typically stores most of your body's vitamin A, and liver disorders can interfere with vitamin storage, resulting in low vitamin A levels in the body. Diseases and conditions that impair your intestines' ability, so your gut's ability to absorb fat, can also cause vitamin A deficiency. There are also other conditions that can reduce your body's ability to absorb vitamins such as vitamin A. Now, these conditions can include chronic diarrhea, celiac disease, cystic fibrosis, certain pancreatic disorders, bile duct blockage, zinc or iron deficiency, a small bowel bypass or bariatric surgery, alcohol use disorder, as well as intestine or pancreas surgery that you might have had in the past. So now let's briefly discuss some diagnosis and tests for vitamin A deficiency. Well, your healthcare provider can typically diagnose vitamin A deficiency based on your symptoms as well as a simple blood test. If you do have night blindness, your healthcare provider might order an eye test called electroretinography. Your healthcare provider will examine the light sensing cells called the photoreceptors in your retinas. Now the test measures the response of your retinas to flashes of light. There's also something that's called a serum retinal blood test, and this can measure the amount of vitamin A in your blood. However, your body stores large amounts of vitamin A, so the level of vitamin A in your blood won't necessarily decrease until your deficiency is quite severe. So now let's briefly discuss how vitamin A deficiency is treated. Well, your healthcare provider will typically treat your vitamin A deficiency with high doses of a vitamin A supplement for several days if it's low. After several days, then you'll have to take lower doses of vitamin A until your vision and skin issues start to resolve. Vitamin A supplements can cure night blindness and help lubricate your eyes again. However, vision loss due to scarring from corneal ulcers often can't be cured. Now, it's important to know that infants shouldn't take high doses of vitamin A because it can be toxic to them. However, children can be treated with vitamin A supplements and your child's healthcare provider will determine the correct dosage. Your healthcare provider can also help you plan a healthy, balanced diet that includes foods that contain or are rich in vitamin A, and we'll discuss some of these at the end of this video. So moving on now, how can you prevent vitamin A deficiency? Well, as I've already mentioned, the best way to prevent vitamin A deficiency is to eat a healthy diet that includes foods that contain or are rich in vitamin A. So these include things like green leafy vegetables such as spinach, kale and broccoli, and these contain beta-carotene, the precursor that I mentioned that your body converts into active vitamin A. These leafy greens are also great for offering a variety of other nutrients, including vitamin C and K, and they're rich in fiber, which obviously supports overall gut health. Next are orange and yellow vegetables, so things like carrots, pumpkins, sweet potatoes, and squashes. Their bright color comes from the carotenoids like beta-carotene, and these compounds are especially abundant in carrots and sweet potatoes, giving them that vibrant orange or yellow hue, and packing them with great potential for vitamin A production in your body. The third are orange and yellow fruits, so things like oranges, mangoes, cantaloupe, as well as papayas. Similar to orange and yellow vegetables, these fruits also owe their sunny shades to carotenoids. Now, mangoes and papayas are particularly famous for having high levels contributing significantly to vitamin A intake when eaten regularly. The fourth are dairy products, so things like milk, cheese and yogurt can contain retinol, which is the active form of vitamin A, especially if they are full fat or fortified. Now, many dairy products in supermarkets are enriched to boost their vitamin A content, making them a convenient option for those who consume dairy. The fifth option are liver, beef and chicken, which are also high in vitamin A, which is stored in the livers of animals, making liver one of the richest natural sources. Beef and chicken also contain notable amounts of retinol, helping people who include meat in their diets maintain adequate levels of vitamin A. Now, the sixth option are oily fish like salmon, which typically contain not only healthy fats like omega-3, but also retinol. And this is because fish can store vitamin A in their tissues, particularly the liver and fatty tissues. 
Another great option are eggs, and that's because the yolk, which is where most of the nutrients in an egg reside, are great for having high levels of retinol. So having eggs a few times a week in your meals can help boost vitamin A intake. Now, the other food to mention are fortified foods. So these might be cereals, rice, potatoes, wheat, soybeans. Now, these foods don't naturally have large amounts of vitamin A, but instead they're fortified or strengthened with it. During processing, manufacturers add vitamins and minerals, making them helpful dietary staples for people who need that extra boost. Finally, if you struggle to get enough vitamin A through whole foods, perhaps due to dietary restrictions or limited access to fresh produce, supplements can be potentially a useful backup. However, it's always important to consult your own healthcare professional before starting any supplement regime because excessive vitamin A can cause health issues. It's also really important to note that too much preformed or active vitamin A called retinol from supplements can increase the risk of birth defects in pregnant ladies. And for this reason, health authorities often set an upper limit for vitamin A intake during pregnancy. Now, this is going to vary from place to place, but it's typically 10,000 international units per day for adults. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please let me know in the comments section. Until next time, bye.